Hi, my name's Tony. Welcome to my instructional video on how to remove an embedded movie from your Facebook page and save it to your computer. Recently I was asked by a very dear friend if she could save a movie that was embedded in her Facebook so that she could send it to a friend who was not on Facebook. Yes, you can. It's just not that easy. You'll notice I have a Google Chrome web browser up. This is the browser you'll need to do this. Now, you can use Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox if you have a real good understanding of how the browser works and how to get to its cache, because we're going to work from the cache today. So, let's get started. Okay, here we are at my Facebook page, and you'll see I have a movie showing that's embedded in the Facebook page that I want to save. This movie happens to be about why God made dogs. Now, a lot of people are wanting to save their Facebook 10th anniversary movie that was made especially for them. You can use this same procedure to do that. Let's go ahead and start the movie. And on the ninth day, God looked down on his... Okay. Now, we'll let the movie run a little bit, but you do not have to play it all the way through. It just has to be the last thing you do before you change the address bar. Now, what we're going to do is going to bring our cursor up to the address bar, and we're going to go to our cache. So we're going to type in Chrome semicolon slash slash view hyphen http hyphen cache and enter on that. Let me type that in for you. Well, you can see I've done this before, so I'll just go down and select it. Well, what is this? This is our cache. The very last thing on the cache on the very top should be the movie you just played. Let's take a look and see. You may have to mess around a bit in this to find the actual movie. It may not be on the top. However, if it's the last thing you did before changing the address bar, it should be. So going to the very top line, we're going to click on it. And voila! It is now up in the address bar, and we have all of this funny text. You'll notice that the very first thing in the address bar is still Chrome semicolon slash slash view HTTP cache slash. We want to eliminate that, so we're going to go up and we're going to highlight that and delete it. Once it's deleted, you can see all we have to do is press enter and it'll go into that address. Oh, what's this? It's the video we want to watch. You can start the video, let it play, and make sure it plays all the way through. Check the sound. And said they need a companion. So God made a dog. So God made a dog, and we made a video. How do we keep it? Simple. Right click on it, go to Save Video As, it will bring up wherever you want to save it, hit save, and again, voila, you're done. Okay, now that it's saved to the computer, let's go find it. I know I saved it to my pictures, so I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom, and there it is. It is saved as a QuickTime movie, so you're going to need the QuickTime player. Now, I email them directly to my iPad, and when I do that, they play beautifully, because after all, it's an Apple product. And on the ninth day, God looked down on his wide-eyed children and said they need a companion. And there it is. That's how you remove an embedded video from your Facebook page so that you can email it and share it with friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. 